The outpouring of support after the death of legendary Fox 5 anchor John Rowland is touching all of us. So tonight we thought we'd take a look back at one of John's most harrowing tales. 40 years ago, John survived an armed robbery and gun attack. In this special Fox 5 flashback, we remember John in his own words and what happened on that fateful day. Well, if you've been watching Channel 5 News for any time at all during the past decade, then you're quite familiar with John Rowland's skills as an anchorman here. But what you may not have known is that John is a very brave anchorman. After the broadcast last night, John and some friends went across the street for a quiet drink. Some bad guys showed up, and thanks to John, a crime was foiled. A gunman is in the hospital with a bullet wound in his leg. And out of nowhere, a guy comes between myself and the waiter to whom I was handing the money and said, I'll take that. And I looked down, and he was, wasn't a very big guy, but he had a gun that looked at the time this big around. It started in a bar called The Racing Club, just across the street from Channel 5. John Rowland and a friend had stopped in for a quiet drink, but when three men with guns walked into the bar, the quiet ended. Before I knew what was going on, John, I, I, I grabbed a gun and we were on the floor. All of a sudden, I felt another gun on the side of my, I could see out of the side of my head, the fellow was standing up and pointing a rifle at me. He said, I have a shotgun, I'm gonna blow your brains out. And again, before I knew what happened, I had grabbed a hold of the shotgun and he was on the floor. And we were rolling around and I, I, had, I had my hands on both guns. Some shots uh, went off from the pistol. Then I heard a voice saying, all right, that's it. And I turned around and I looked up and I saw a third gun. And at that point, I said, okay, I mean, I'm outnumbered, I'm, I'm outgunned. I said, you got me. Then the other guy said, hit him. And the one guy started hitting me on the, on the head with the uh, gun, or the pistol on the back of the head, and the other guy was, was, he was so angry, he was just so vicious and so angry, that he started swinging at me with the, uh, with the rifle, holding onto the barrel, hitting me on the head with the rifle butt. During the struggle, some patrons hid, others followed the robber's instructions, but a busboy made it out a back door, over a fence, and over to the 19th precinct, a block away where he stopped two cops going inside. It's the weather stop light, the bus stop, for the information of the, the, the way in question. And that's just basically what happened. We stopped him, we noticed his guns in the car, on the floor, and witnesses told us what happened. Police say the hold-up team had two handguns, one sawed-off rifle, handcuffs, and knives. They suspect the team may be behind a string of East Side Bar stick-ups. Each had a long police record. Each had been arrested before for robbery. Three of them were out on parole, one for a 1975 murder conviction for which he served only four years. What was it that made you do these things? I don't know, John. I. You know, you and I have been in this business a long time, and you hear, you hear stories about people who give over whatever they have, and then they kill them. And I guess that's what I thought about it, and I didn't want to go without a fight. I thought I was dead. It was all over, John Rowland had helped police capture four hold-up men, a cache of weapons, and $450, the proceeds of the robbery of the racing club. Last night when I spoke to him at the hospital, he seemed most upset about the fact that somewhere in the fracas he had managed to lose his own wallet. Today, he reflected on the fact that he could have lost an awful lot more. John Miller, Channel 5 News. Yeah, quite a story. Yeah, what a situation wow. to be in. Amazing. Well, he will be missed, that's for sure.